That was quick. Is there a new Ghostbusters movie that I don't know about? Can you believe I've never watched one Ghostbusters movie? I think. Maybe the first one was little, I don't remember. I'm old. Her freaky tongue, bro. Okay. they are in fact the perfect group to have done a song like this Ghostbusters is so wacky and they're such a wacky group that this actually fit perfectly so I'm not it makes sense it's not my favorite song out of the couple I've listened to but the video is entertaining and they would be the group to be able to take advantage of the theme and make it something fun and it's pretty good promotion for Ghostbusters in Japan but also very good promotion for Atarashi Gato everywhere else so I think that was a good pairing and they got to sample the original um, sample um, I'll talk about this song more later but I really don't have much to say I Every time I watch them, I am entertained, so there's, there's really not much other than to say they entertain me, but I'm not a fan of the song. I think that's fair. So now we're going to go in to their next one, Tori, Tori Anse. Uh, they were close enough, or not. By the way, this girl's just, this girl's crazy. <laughs> That was actually really loud in my ears. Okay.
I'm not even I'm not even reading the uh, lyrics, and they're probably pretty good lyrics. Let me go back a bit. Um, I will say these last two songs I've heard. I don't know their names yet. Suz Suzaka. I don't know what her name is. The main last singer. I've seen. The, I'm I'm happy to see the other girls singing, because in my first two songs, Tokyo Calling in Otonio Blue, I heard more of the main singer than anything else. Okay. <laughs> into every building like that i'm gonna walk everywhere like that from now on i'm gonna walk everywhere like that from now on that makes sense Oh no, that's a banger. That's a banger. Toronse means you may enter. That is a banger. Okay. Love this song. Clearly. No offense to the Ghostbusters song, but this is this is my alley. You were you could just respectfully, this is my alley. I love the opening sequence of the song. When they're all waking up. This is very them, as well as the, they they they're so they have such a specific sound that I let me back up. I don't listen to a lot of whatever genre this is. We could just generalize it. How we just generalize K-pop as Korean pop, J-pop as Japanese pop, and we just kind of umbrella of things that don't have a space. I don't listen to a lot of J-pop, but I think if I listen to a lot of J-pop, and you could, if you'd listen to a lot of J-pop, you could inform me, but I feel like they have such a specific sound that would be hard to copy, where it would sound good, that only, that. I feel like this is only something they could do. I could be wrong. This might be a whole genre within itself that I don't know, know about, but they're so, they're so specific. And I like it. I like it. I, almost, I could almost react to this all over again and have commentary, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I really like this song. It's so, it's so good. And the music video is... Oh. They good. They good. That's all I gotta say. That's. I loved the rap parts. I like. I like that the whole group was singing together. Um. It. It was a good time, guys. I don't know what to say. I'm not an expert of everything. Um. This was fun. Um. I will definitely be reacting to more 
Tokyo Calling. I don't know if they have any albums or EPs out. If they do and there you have a good suggestion for songs, drop them in the comments below. Um, and I will take a look at them and eventually react. Because right now I'm reacting to K-pop, I'm reacting to J-pop, whatever genre baby metal is, I'm reacting to that. I'm reacting to P-pop, which is Filipino pop. I'm reacting to, I guess you could call it Taiwanese pop. Whatever baby mint is. Baby mint? Yeah. So I'm all over the place. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll get to it eventually. So until next time, until next time, don't forget to subscribe.